Seguida, 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 seguida. The Invisible Rulers Conference, three mystic creatures of the heavenly realms. God has granted the bond servant of Christ John access to this revelation for the preceding days of the emerging age of the sons of God. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and John chapter 1 verse number 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. John chapter 1 verse number 14 happened in heaven. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 happened on earth. Now the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The in verse 14 told us what happened in eternity. Now some of you thought that the word was made flesh when he was born of Virgin Mary. You're lying. Remember the, the first begotten, the first born, the first birth that has ever happened was in the heaven and it came from the word of God and he is the first begotten of the father if I'm to now put it in sequence I would say the first creature of the world is the born of the world the first begotten of the world not created so Jesus was not created and if Jesus is the born the first born of the word of God it means that he had flesh now there are celestial bodies there are terrestrial bodies there are heavenly body oh, come on there are earthly body I'm coming now in John chapter 1 verse 14 hear me out Jesus became flesh and we beheld the glory the glory of the only begotten son so that was the revelation of Elohim and the Rams. They beheld the very first Son of God. That was the proclamation of the Elohim. And the word met was met flesh. Oh. And we beheld the glory of the word as the only so that was when he was begotten the soul the glorious flesh the glorious body now the difference between the flesh that we found in John chapter 1 verse 14 in, in, in comparison with the flesh in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 is this when Jesus came to earth he took flesh and blood but when he was begotten as the very first son of God, he took flesh. So the difference is blood and terrestrial flesh. He took the human body and blood. Because if you take flesh with that blood, you're not human. Behold my hands and my faith 
that it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit has not flesh and bones as ye see me have now here's the point the suddenly so Jesus appeared this is Jesus after resurrection Jesus in his glorified state before Jesus ascended to heaven he prayed a prayer and said father glorify your son with the glory which you have given him that which he has before the foundation of the earth what is the glorification now, the glorification that Jesus was requesting after he was out of the grave was to step back into his bodily original state before he took flesh and blood. So Jesus said, I am not a spirit. I am not an Elohim. I am much more than an Elohim. I am a creature in heaven that has a body that has bones yet not flesh and blood Peter touch me I have flesh Peter touch me I have bones but I don't have blood therefore I am not a natural man yet I possess bones I possess body ah then shall you understand what the Bible meant in John chapter 1 verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among the Elohim among the angelic creatures I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me thou art my son this day have i begotten you for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so there was a day the word of god begot the world begot christ and Jesus became the only begotten of the Father. And a day came when God had to give his only begotten Son for the redemption of humanity. And that Son is a creature of God, the begotten of God, the ruler of rulers. That's why the Bible calls him the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Because in the reigns of the spirit, there are lords, spirit entities in the category of lords, spirit creatures in the category of kings, rulers, principalities, and powers. And it says, Jesus is the king of kings, the ruler of rulers. In fact, the Bible went further to say in the New Testament that Jesus is the head of principalities and powers think about that what made him the head because he was not a creature he was an offspring of the word of God three be a witness in heaven the father the creator of Elohims the world the one that birthed the very first son of God in the heavenly realms and Jesus emerged the firstborn the first prince so he's the prince of princes the one that carries the original bloodline all the hymns were created they were never partakers of his divine nature and that's what the Bible says having escaped the corruption that is in this world for we are partakers of his divine nature Elohim don't have the nature of God they don't have the DNA of the Almighty they don't have the bloodline of the Almighty they don't have the pure blood only Jesus carries the pure blood 
and that's why when jesus shows up all the elohims that are in obedience all the elohims that are in rebellion all the angelic creatures that are in rebellion and obedience will bow because the prince has come the final visibility of an invisible god has come he was the word of god speaking in the eden of god he was the walking word he was the voice of god walking i heard that the voice was walking in the garden adam said i heard the voice of the lord walking in the midst of the garden remember before the word became flesh before the world gained legs and body to walk it was called the logos in the beginning was the written intention was the everlasting counsel of the godhead in the beginning was the logos and the logos was with god ah oh, god pregnant the logos the fellowship of the godhead brought forth the first offspring of the deity and he became the walking the living word not the logos but the everlasting living word of god do you know who you are there is only one creature that is to be reborn except a man be born again you must be born of the water you must be born of the spirit he that is born of the spirit is spirit not created so in christ you're not a creature in christ you are the continuity of the born of the word of god in Zion. shout hallelujah glory to god